Foster here for the Field of 60. Today, we are bringing you another episode in our Off the Carousel series, where we will be joined by each and every new head coach to the Division I ranks. There are almost 60 of them. We're going to be rolling these out a couple of days throughout the month of May and the month of June. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And if you like this interview, don't be afraid to tap that like button. That stuff really does help our channel and help our presence on YouTube. It helps more people like you find this content. And since I have you guys here, make sure that you check out our Instagram and TikTok pages. We are going to be pumping out more unique content over there throughout the summer heading into next season. Like, for example, did you know that Penny Hardaway was shot when he was a player in college? I bet you didn't know that. There are more stories like that on those pages. The links are in the description below. So now, without further ado, let's get into another edition of Off the Carousel. All right, Jeff Goodman here from the Field of 68 with the latest edition of Off the Carousel, and we bring on new Seton Hall head coach, Shaheen Holloway. Sha, how you doing? What's going on, my man? How you doing? How's everything? I'm probably a little mellower than you are. I, I know today uh, the kids are on campus. They start summer school. Uh, it's been a whirlwind for you, hasn't it? Man, whirlwind is, is not even – it's an it's understatement. Yeah, it's, it's been kind of crazy, but, you know, it comes with it. It comes with it. You threw out the first pitch of what? Mets, Yankees? Mets, Yankees, Devils. Uh, <laughs> uh, first pick, I mean, uh, the NFL draft, this, that. You, you, is it crazy? Sha, is it crazy? Because for so <laughs> long, I don't want to say you lived in obscurity because you didn't in New York. People know who you are. But, like, nationally, you weren't what you are now, and now everybody wants a piece of you all of a sudden, right? Well, you know what? It kind of reminded me of college. Right when I when I came in as a high school American, you know, um, and it just, it reminded, I was just talking to my man about it last night. It's like it's like that's feeling all over again, right? It's like you know, like you say, I want a piece of you, but I get it, I understand it. You know, it, it comes with the territory. How how do you stay? I mean, does that help you that you went through it in high school, uh, recruited by Coach K? Everybody, do you think that helps you now deal with with the kind of whirlwind? You know what? It's it's you know, throughout my, you know, I don't want to just come off sound a little crazy, but through, like throughout my journey of uh, being a player and a coach, you know, especially staying this in this area, right? I didn't really go out the area, so um, it's kind of it's kind of been like that, you know, not kind of it prepared me for this moment, for sure. All right, so I, I try to do some digging on you and, and, and uh -oh. get some good dirt, and there's not uh -oh. much to be had, John. Like, yeah. like the things I keep being told, you you're so serious, and. Yeah. Uh, Here's what I want to know. Here's what I want to know. You worked for Kevin Willard for over a decade. Yeah. Most people would ask you, all right, what did you learn from Kevin Willard that you're going to take with you now going back to Seton Hall? I'm going to, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to say, what did you learn from Kevin Willard that you're not going to take with you? What, what did Kevin Willard do that you're like, <laughs> I am not doing that? Oh, man, you could, you really trying to put me on the spot right now with that, huh, man? Now, you know what? Uh, I learned a lot from Coach. You know, Coach is uh, – He's been great to me, man. You know, like he gave you know, he 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 taught me, you know, how to be a professional, you know, when it comes to coaching. Um, how to take everything, you know, serious, how to make make sure I'm on top of everything. I think what I would do on my own, you know, I would handle things a little differently. Right. Um, you know, coach, you know, he gave me a lot of leeway when I when I first got with him. And I thought it helped me, right? It helped me like tremendously. Like, you know, he he's not a micromanager. I'm, I am a little bit, you know, so I got to get better with that. Um, I got to do better with delegating things to others, right? Because um, I, st I still kind of recruit and scout like, like, like I'm a sister. Like, so I guess I got to get better with that. But that's, that's just kind of who I am, right? It's, it's hard to kind of let go of that, right? Because um, I think that made me the player and the coach who I am because I'm just so on top of things. So I, I would say um, just, you know, delegating more and, and, and kind of like, you know, not being micromanaging too much um, with certain things, but it's hard. I gotta be honest with Jeff, it's hard. It's hard for me not well, to be. It'll be, yeah, but you'll have no choice at Seton Hall. Like at St. Peter's, you could do a lot of that, right? There were less speaking engagements, things of that nature, things that pulled you. Now you're yep. gonna have a lot of that other stuff, more media, uh, more responsibilities. You probably have no choice but to delegate. Well, you know what? I, I, for, the, <laughs> for the last seven weeks, it's kind of been like, 
a whirlwind is not really even the, the word. Yeah. It's been crazy. But you know what? Like, yes and no. I, I can't forget who I am, though, right? I can't forget what got me in this chair, right? And I think, to me, that's the most important thing. Like, I'm, I'm that guy that I want to be out. Like, I want to be out there. I want to be recruiting. I want the players who I'm bringing in to get to know me, who I am, and who they're about to play for and things like that. I don't want it to be the other way around, like where they get here and now they go, oh, we didn't know that you was, and like, no, you got to know from, from the door. Like, I'm this way. You know, that's how it is. That's how it's going to be. And um, so, and I also think that kind of makes me unique a little bit though, right? Because most head coaches don't have a on hand. In fact, I do. Like, I think that's kind of what uh, attract players to me, if that makes sense. When you start going recruiting and some and you have your assistants driving you, that's when you know you're in trouble. All right, child. That, that I don't. That. Yeah, with me, I don't want nobody driving me because when, when I want to leave, I, I want to leave. You know? yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I ain't exactly. There, and you know, I was that assistant where you know I knew everybody there and I got shake everybody's hands and we got a hug and uh, no, 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 no. You want to get out when you yeah, when you want to go. You want to get the hell out. Um, exactly. Now, exactly. now, now it's the peace sign. All right, fellas. All right. That's right. That's right. I'm out. All yeah. right, so. Of that magical Elite Eight run, and I know you probably get asked this all the time, but what, what was the, the moment that will stick with you forever? What is that, if there's a snapshot, if there's one moment through that run that you're like, I will never forget that moment, what was it? You know what, it, it's, you know, this, this is the first time someone asked me this question, right? Out of all the interviews I did and everything I had since that run, no one really asked that question. And I got to be honest with you, Jeff, like, I don't know, right? Because everything happened so quick. Like it just, like I haven't even had time to digest what really happened. Still. Because it's, yeah, because you know, like you win a MAC tournament, right? On a Friday or Saturday, on a Saturday, then Sunday is Selection Sunday, right? Then you, you kind of find out you're playing Kentucky, right? So now I got to get to the lab and now I got to get watching all the film. I got to try to get a game plan together. Then in the mix of that, I got food poison, right? right? So, right. You know, so I didn't even go with the, with the team to Indy. I met them down there a day later, right? Just trying to get myself together. Then you, you play Kentucky, then you beat Kentucky. And now you gotta get ready for a great Murray State team. Then, then we beat Murray State. So now we come back and now we got a couple of days, you know, like a, a week to prepare for Purdue, like five days. And then now I gotta deal with this name, image, and likeness that my team is getting. That we remember, we, we wasn't privy to that type of stuff. You know what I mean? All of a that, sudden, yeah. Like, yeah. like that stuff didn't exist in our world, right? So now I got to kind of get everybody back focused, right? So I said, okay, you got Sunday to Tuesday to kind of get all your endorsements, anything you want. After Tuesday, we shutting it down, getting ready for Purdue. Then now it's the media. And now the media come to practice. They come to this. So now we got to get ready for that. Then we play Purdue. And after Purdue, we begin ready for... um you know, North Carolina, right? In the mix of all that, the, the one person in my life who hold me down the most passed away on the, the day of the game. I find out like a couple hours before the game and it messed me up mentally. So I'm dealing with, with that, right? Um, then I felt like I let my team down because I didn't have the passion and energy that I always have and they kind of feed off me. And I think we kind of went in a little slump in the beginning and give North Carolina credit, they kind of jumped on us, right? That's over. Now I'm trying to get ready to, you know, try to see how I'm going to, you know, um, lay my grandmother rest and the see whole thing come up, right? Then have to see whole thing come up. You didn't even want to deal with it, right, Chow? You, you, at you all. weren't in a, a, a I, mental I, I state. I didn't want to deal with it at all. I turned my phone off for two days, right, at all. Then I got to deal with going to talk to my players and letting, letting them know this might be happening and see where they're at, you know, and, and then, then the press conference, then the parade, and then this six week just you know tour so I really haven't had time to really even digest what really happened right so when you ask me that question as I'm saying all this right now I'm, I'm trying to think of the moment that kind of said okay we're here and I think the moment if I had to guess real quick this is like kind of off the top of my head right yeah. now I guess if I had to say after the Purdue game because anybody who know me know that I'm a laid back low-key person like, I don't get too high, I don't get too low. I just kind of stay mellow, right? But that moment, everything kind of came out, right? So I don't let my guys celebrate, which it's, it's a give and take thing, right? Because it's, it's March Madness, 
right? I want him to and, on one hand. And, and, and it's the first time that we've been there. So, you know, I can't like we've been there every year, right? And I want those guys to have a good experience, but I also want those guys to understand, like, like we came here to do this. Like, we on to the next. So, like, when I'm not happy or celebrating, it's like, all right, fellas, we got work to do. Right. Right? So I remember, I remember this, like it was yesterday, I remember winning the MAC tournament, and everybody's cutting the net down. And I'm like, fellas, let's go and lock on. Like, we got work to do. And all the media, everybody like, what are you talking about? Like, I think these guys, I'm like, nah, like, this is this is part of the journey that we set out to do this year. So with the interview after the game, there was so much emotion that was involved. Right? It was just, I got I gotta be honest, like it was a lot of emotion involved. Just because of like everything kind of hit me at one time, Jeff. I'll be honest, like from my playing days to when I first got into coaching, when I became a head coach, you just hear all this negative. Negativity sells. I get it. I understand it. Trust me. I've been around the game way long. So all this negative stuff about what I cannot do and what we cannot do and what this and that and this. So when I made the statement, like, what they going to say now? Like, to me, that was that moment that you just asked me. Because it was like, all right, well, yeah. but what you going to say now? Like, it's, it's like, as a player... Because of the stigma shot? Is it the well, stigma you know, it was, of, of, of... It was the stigma. It was like when I was a player, you're 5'10", you can't do this, you're too small, you can't compete with, you know, God bless the dead, Kobe Bryant, you can't compete with Tim Thomas, you can't compete with these guys. Guess what? I'm top five in the country, right? You, you go to college, you're not going to be successful at Seton Hall. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do this. You can't do that. All right, freshman year, second team all biggies. And that's when it was a real biggies. Like, I mean, oh, yeah. stack, stack biggies, right? Yes. 18 points a game. Then this, that, and this. As a coach, he can only recruit. Can't do X and O's. Can't do this. Can't do that. He's not ready to do his own program. Went to the worst Division One school. Like, it's like all this stuff. Like, yep. the players he got, they're not good enough. None of them is two-star, three-star, three, whatever. Right? So it's kind of like, so that moment kind of like hit me. And I was like, all right, well, what you going to say now? Like, what is it now? But now on the flip side of that, now I'm, I'm, I'm at a different stage right now. It's a different level right now, right? It's, yeah. you know, you're sitting, you're sitting in this, this big boy chair in the, in, the, in, in the Big East. So now, you know, those, those things you got to be careful with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to be careful with. So I, I would say just that moment, Jeff, I'm sorry I kind of, this is a long answer, but I'm sorry I kind of went all over the place. But I guess, you know, now... It's like you got to really, ref really reset, focus, and go, okay, different times, different level, um, coming to a place where the expectation is crazy high yep. Yep. because of who I am and I went here and kind of what we just did, yep. right? And the fan base, you know, they, they wanted, they expected, and just got to, like, you know, put my big boy pants on and get, get ready to work. So everybody thought it was a done deal, you know, even going into because everybody thought, hey, Kevin's going to Maryland. We know that's done. Shot's going to go back to Seton Hall. I actually thought it was funny before the tournament even started. Remember Calipari pitching you on Twitter to go to UMass. Right? You saw that, right? I ain't see Calipari. I know, I know Coach Patino was. I know. Oh, Calipari Patino. I'm sorry. It was Patino. Yeah, it was yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was yeah, yeah, Patino yeah. pitching you to go to UMass. My bad. Um, and uh, and then, I mean, the thing changes so quickly. Like, that's the amazing part of, like you said, the whirlwind, right? Everything can change so quick. And next thing you know, you've got everybody telling you, Seton Hall, it's your job, it's your job, Kevin's going to Maryland. How, like, how aware were you of all that? And how did you, how did you block that out and focus? Because at, at the time, it wasn't important to me. The only thing that was important to me was the mission that we had in front of us, right? I remember like, you know, when we, when we beat Kentucky, you know, my agent and a couple of people called me about other jobs, not seeing all. Yeah. I'm like, man, listen, I, this is the most important thing right, right now. I don't wanna hear nothing about anything else. You know, if it ain't about St. Peter's, don't talk to me about it. So that's kind of, you know, the mindset I had and I just blocked all that stuff out. But the thing, Jeff, that was, I was trying to get my players to block it out. 
Right. Like, Which so is much they were, harder. Yeah. So because they was more worried about it than I was because I knew what I wasn't worried about. I was focused on this. They was worried about like, coach, what's you see, see all this school. That's what I'm like, fellas, like stay off social media. Like that's where about being Murray State. You know what I mean? That's that's the most important thing right now. Yeah, it's so hard to keep kids right now focused because of social media. I mean, it's hard enough for people our age. Never, never mind, you know, 18, 18 year old kids who are on there all the time and, you know, see the rumors about you leaving after the year. All right. So you do, you go back home and, uh, and now you're back at Seton Hall where you starred many, many, many years ago. Uh, you inherit a program that's had a lot of success lately, but let's face it, you don't, a lot of the top players have left, you know, I'm not going to say the cupboard's bare by any means, but you got some work to do now. How do you get it back? How do you get it back, Sean? Just, you know, just laying the foundation, man. Brick by brick, by by brick. You know, we we, we came in, seen the roster, seen what we, the stuff that we had to bring in. I thought there were some good pieces that, that was here. Um, just make sure they understand what they get themselves into, the guys that stay. Um, and then go out there trying to figure out to fit what I want to do, right, and kind of fit my personality. You know, I thought in a short period of time, I thought we got some good pieces. Now we got paired together. Right now, you got to put them together. Now, you got to put them on the court. Guys moved in last night. Um, we, we had a big team meeting and it just kind of laid it down. This is what it's going to be. This is what it's going to be. You know, it's going to be much different than a lot of you guys expect. Um, so, just get ready for it. Started that, started that, that's, we started this morning at eight o'clock and now we are up and going. I, I want to know have you, have you offered your son Xavier a scholarship yet? No, nah, my wife said I gotta I gotta recruit him. So you know that's gonna be hard. <laughs> how old How old is he now? He's nine. He's nine. Yeah, he's nine. So so will he be the youngest? You know, uh, Seton Hall uh, scholarship offer. You know. No, you know I gotta come in with with a whole game plan. I gotta I gotta do my pitch. I gotta you know I gotta bring my staff to the house. We gotta sit down. We we gotta you know sell her and sell the school to her. So you know, and she went here. So. She should know everything about the school, right? But I still got to sell it over to her. Yeah, you, you, you got a few years to worry about that. Hopefully, let you know, let him, uh, let him grow up and and enjoy himself. And uh, listen, con congrats! I know it's been a whirlwind for you. Uh, I know it's been obviously probably a dream come true. I mean, we haven't even talked about that, but the the fact of coaching your alma mater now, you know, probably never thought that was possible back when you were a player. You know what? It's it's. It's, it's, it's weird. You know, I remember um, Wednesday night before the press conference on Thursday, I, I came here and I'm just looking around, right? And I'm like, is this even real? Right? Uh, you, you almost got to pinch yourself. And throughout the, the tournament run, I was saying, like, you know, I don't want the dream to be over. Like, I want to stay asleep. It's like, it was like the same thing. Like, is this really happening? Like, wow. Like, you know, God is great, right? Um, you know, I, Jeff, I got to be honest with you, man. Like, it's, man, it's, sometimes I get emotional just thinking about it, right? Because I'm not, it's crazy because I'm not an emotional person at all. Like, I don't cry. I don't do none of that type of stuff. But, like, I, I say, I say, I say, I one day in the office, and uh, my office, look over, it looks over the gym. And, like, for three hours, I'm just looking in the gym, and, like, and I'm envisioning how I'm going to play and things I'm going to do. Like, right? But, like, it just, man, this is, This is this is what it's all about, man. You were a kid, man. You were a kid. You know, last time you, you know, I mean, you, you see it come full circle. Like, that's yeah. the cool part of it, right? Like, you see it come full circle, and I'm sure you have those memories of being recruited, uh, all that. So, listen, congrats uh, off the carousel. New Seton Hall head coach, Shaheen Holloway. Man, I appreciate it, man. Jeff, thank you so much for having me on.